Hi guys, and welcome to part 78 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now, my current character is an archer, but occasionally you do need to use a sword even if you prefer to keep your distance. And his sword of choice is the Dawnbreaker Sword. It burns for 20 points of damage, and most undead are susceptible to fire, and when it kills undead it has a chance of causing a great big explosion that can turn or even destroy any nearby undead that are left standing. However, it does have one thing that I'm not quite happy with, and that is it doesn't give off any light. I mean, it has this great big bright almost mage-like type effect in the hilt, and yet it's pitch black here. Look at what happens if I take out a torch. Nice visibility, I could, I could see things, I can loot things. Now I'm using Finex ENB here, and it's not the darkest of all ENBs, but it does make it a little darker in dungeons, and occasionally you do need a torch to see. Um, but it would be nice if this gave off some light. The effect is almost worse in first person. As you can see, it's pretty dark here. I'll take out a torch, and my visibility does improve. I'll put it away again. Now if I take out the Dawnbreaker, my visibility actually gets worse. because I've got this great big mage light right in front of my face, and it makes it harder, for me at least, to see everything else. It almost makes it look darker, and I, I think it actually does. I think you get a little bit of eye adaption, which which is reasonable. I've got a great big bright light in front of me. Um, and so in combat, it becomes really difficult in dark areas. But luckily, there is a mod that fixes that, and the mod is called Daedric Dawnbringer. Now, let me put my torch away, and I'm going to get into combat stance and pull out the Dawnbreaker sword. Look at that! Light! In fact, it gives off slightly brighter light than torch, actually noticeably brighter light than the torch, and the light has a larger radius, as you can see. Um, and I think that's perfectly reasonable, because it is actually a very intensely bright light. Let me take that away again. There you go. Torch. Now, you can actually have the Dawnbreaker out and the torch, and you can see both lights have slightly different effects. Uh, the torch actually brightens up my character's face more, which seems reasonable, seeing as it is higher. And look at the difference in first person. Look, I'll take away the Dawnbreaker. Very difficult to see. Excellent visibility. Absolutely excellent visibility. And if I put the torch... Uh, sword, sorry, if I put the sword away, I still get the bright light effect from having Dawnbreaker on my belt. It acts as a torch, it, very similar to the lantern on a belt mod. Now, if I remove it, darkness. Take it out, light. I find that absolutely brilliant, and I'm pretty amazed by how little attention this mod has actually gained. The mod also tweaks the settings. It brings the damage up to the same level as the Daedric Sword, because the Dawnbreaker Sword was a little disappointing, and it is a Daedric artifact, so now it does the same base damage as a Daedric Sword. Don't worry if you're looking at the damages on all of my weapons, I use Skyrim, and the, the damage is completely overhauled for that mod, and in fact can go up and down when you look at your inventory, depending on which of your perks happen to be active right then. The the actual magical effect has also been changed. Instead of fire damage, it now does sun damage. You are going to need the Dawn Guard DLC for this mod to work, but it does sun damage, and it does more damage to undead, as you would expect, and it's a very cool effect. The sun damage looks a lot more interesting than the fire damage, and I think it's actually more appropriate to do this kind of damage. Of course, this means whilst this sword is now really good against undead, against other creatures that might have been susceptible to fire, it's not quite as good. On the default version of the mod, there is also a stagger effect when hitting undead, even if you're not powered attacking, and I happen to think that is a little overpowered, in fact, a lot overpowered, but there is a version of the mod without that, and that is the one I use. 
Now, in fact, if you actually want to use this weapon because of the sun damage, or perhaps you even like the stagger version for the power, but you didn't want it to give off light, you can also actually have that, but for me, the light is actually the biggest plus point about this mod. Now, some of you may be wondering how this light source affects Sneak, um, but the thing is, is in the vanilla game, you can have a torch and people will not see you, even though they really should see you very, very easily. However, there are some mods out there that, that change that, and one of them that I actually use is called Improved Sneak Detection. Now, I have not played with this mod long enough to give you a full evaluation, but I can tell you straight off that if you pull a torch out while you're stood in a dark area, you are going to get found. But if you are using such a mod and you're wondering, does the Dawnbreaker now affect your sneak? The answer is yes, which I love. Now, as I said, I'm not ready to do a review of that mod. I've only just started using it, but I am enjoying that sort of feature. I am enjoying the fact that I cannot use light sources without getting seen. And if you are using such a mod and you want to have the full immersion of having a sword that gives off light, as Dawnbreaker should, but makes it impossible to sneak up on your enemy, as it should, then it seems to work just fine, which I think is really good news for immersion fans. Oh, and if you install the mod and your character already has the Dawnbreaker equipped, either on his belt or in his hand, you will not have any light when you first load the game up. However, don't worry, all you need to do is unequip the sword and then equip it again, and you will have the light. This mod is a great idea, it's well implemented, and I am really glad that I found it. Before I leave this darkened crypt, I would just like to mention two of the mods very quickly. Uh, one of the problems I have been noticing in my Let's Play using this ENB is sometimes Torchlight is not quite useful enough. It's very atmospheric, it's, it gives a really nice effect. I really do like using a torch, however, in some places it just almost doesn't help but there are a couple of mods you can use if you like. The first mod is Double Torch Radius, and it pretty much does that. It just doubles the radius of the light given off by the torch. So as you can see, it's a little more functional. The light from this torch is reaching a little higher in the ceiling, and it's now reaching the back wall. So you've got a tiny bit more visibility. Um, it's a lot clearer around the character's feet, and uh, the very close wall is now very well lit, and you probably will not miss anything. And the second mod is brighter torches with bigger radius, and like the last mod, it does increase the radius of the light, but this one also makes the light slightly brighter. It's not a huge amount, but you can see the difference. Now, I am a little torn on this issue because I really do like the way the Vanilla Torch looks with Finex ENB in some places. It looks amazing here. A lot of ambience, um, slightly creepy, and just all round, really do think this works. However, there are places I have found where I might as well not have had a torch. It makes little to no difference, and it can be a tiny bit frustrating. If you have the same problem, either of those two mods will fix that for you. The last mod that I'm going to show you today concerns shouts, specifically the Fiery Breath and the Frost Breath Shout. Now remember, shouting is the way dragons fight. They shout in their own language, and it comes out in weaponized form, basically. And you are doing the same. But have you ever noticed there is a big difference between a dragon breathing fire and you breathing a fire? When a dragon breathes fire, it's a hot stream of fiery death. It's impressive, it's terrifying. Whereas when the dragonborn breathes fire, It's a kind of fiery sneeze, and the frost breath is not much better. It's kind of feeble, it's kind of short, and it's nothing like the dragon breath. And of course, there is a mod that fixes that. <laughs> that is much more like it. Oh yeah. And of course, because it is a constant stream of effect, you can sp 
spread it around a little bit. <laughs> oh, you can definitely have a lot more fun this way. This is just such a great idea. It's much better than the default shout. Uh, there is one thing you should be aware of while we watch your Vasca burn. Do not use this shout on Parthenax. When you meet Parthenax, he asks you to breathe fire on him. Don't do that because it will aggravate him and he will attack you. So you probably should wait and install this mod after that meeting, I'm afraid. Uh, one of the things I was thinking that might make this mod work even better and allow you to get past Parthenax is to only give you the concentrative effect, the constant stream of fire effect on the third word. So the first two are that little fiery sneeze, as I said, and then the third word gives you the full stream. That way, you would probably be able to do the normal breath on Parthenax and it won't have any problem. At least that's what I think. But all round, this mod is just a lot of fun. It's a great idea, and as long as you're careful with Parthenax, I think this is one of those mods that you should really try out. If you like the Fire Breath and Frost Breath, this really makes it a lot more fun. Okay guys, that is about it for this video. I don't think there will be an installation video because all of the mods are really easy to install. Uh, I'm going to end this video with some screenshots that you guys have been posting on my Nexus page as always. Big thanks to all the people who keep posting, I really do appreciate it. I will be bringing you another video next week and of course many other videos in the meantime. You are more than welcome to join me for any of those. And whichever video you decide to join me for, until then, as always, have fun. Oh,